Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mary Odwalana here. I know it's been a very long time, but I don't know, I've been busy, you know, just graduating from university, getting a job, um, you know, building my brand as a makeup artist as well. So it has been really busy, but I felt like I haven't filmed in a very long time. And I just felt like, why not? I have a camera for a reason. I have lighting for a reason. And I don't want it to go to waste. So I thought, why not? So guys, um, as you can tell, that intro was <laughs> all over the place. I haven't been on YouTube in forever. But I just want to say guys, enjoy the look. I hope you enjoy the look. So anyway, right now, we're doing brows. This is the brows, obviously, I'm just outlining the brows with an eyebrow pencil. This is just a dark brown pencil. Just gonna fill them in. Put uh, a pencil for them in a bit. And then we're using the end of um, the brow pencil. So I buy this brow pencil from Superdrug. And it's one pound, the MUA one. Um, and their eyebrow pencils, they have like a little brush on it. I love the brush, it's amazing. It really brushes through the product well. And now I'm taking my LA Pro Girl um, concealer in the shade form. And I'm just going to use that to um, define and outline my eyebrows to give it a clean look. Eyebrows are done, and yeah, as you can see, I'm excited about this palette. This is the Juvia's Place palette, the Zulu palette, and I'm taking that yellow and I am putting that just above the crease as a transition color. This color is very, this um, look is very vibrant. So I'm just taking that yellow, use it as a transition. The second shade I'm taking is the orange from the same Zulu palette. Guys, this was my first time trying out the palette and I was so gassed. I was just trying out every colour. I didn't even know what I was doing or the look that I was going for. I was just like, yep, this is my first palette with all the colours in it and uh, these vibrant colours, I should say, in it. And I'm just going to do anything. Um, sorry, I didn't show you the colour I picked up, but that was like a, the pink in the palette as well. As I said before, literally, I was just picking out literally every colour in the palette and just trying to work with it. Then I took this lovely brown colour. It's like a burnt orange-ish kind of colour, brown, and I'm putting that in my crease. That wasn't a fault guys, I'm sitting on a leather chair and my watch just moves. <laughs> So make sure that you're blending well, seamlessly making sure that all the colours blend together really well. Can you see that guys? Oh, I love the palette. So yeah, I'm gonna go do the second eye and then we'll be back. So I've cut the crease with the concealer. And I'm taking this Stila liquid eyeshadow. It's like one of the glitter ones. Guys, I'll link all the, not link it. If I can, I'll link it. If not, I'll just put the names down of all the products I used. Um, because I filmed this video quite long ago, quite a long time ago. What I used, but yeah, that's the Stila liquid um, eyeshadow. I'm taking a Saharan palette from the Juvia's Place, and I'm taking that nice orangey ready orange color and i'm using that to kind of blend out the glittery then i'm taking the black from the same saharian palette um, and i'm using that to like do the outer corners of my eyes to give it much more of a bold look you know guys from any so that know me that watch my old videos 
years ago. Mm -hmm. They know that I love to add black to make the look so dramatic, more dramatic than um, it was Now I'm taking my e.l.f. liquid liner and I'm just going to do a wing liner with that. I love this eyeliner. It's just, the brush is so thin and it's just easy to use. Because liquid liners can be very messy. But I'm loving this liquid liner by e.l.f. So I put on my eyelashes. What eyelashes? Are these? This is one of the victorious lashes. Can't remember the name. I'm taking my L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade Cappuccino and I'm just using my Royal Technique um, buffing brush and I'm just using that to buff the foundation into my skin. I'm taking the LA Pro Girl Concealer again, that's in the shade Fawn I, and I am highlighting um, under my eyes, my top lip, my chin, my forehead and now the bridge of my So guys, I didn't show you that. That is the uh, Revolution Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C10, I believe. It's quite of a pinky shade, but yeah. I just use that to kind of brighten up the form because the form doesn't give me um, the bright highlight that I wanted. So I'm taking the um, Real Technique sponge and I am um, blending out the concealer um, I use a damp um, sponge I just find that it's just easier to use than a dry one and it's quicker to use as well now I'm taking um, the L foundation stick to contour this is the darkest shade of the line I'll link it in the description below so you guys can know that Exact shade names and colours. Taking my contour brush and I'm just blending that out. Blend, blend, guys. The key is to blend. Like that shade is very dark, but as long as you blend it, it will work out. I'm just contouring my massive forehead. <laughs> So guys, I did not do my edges. As you can see, I have sideburn for days. And when I'm wearing a wig and my edges are not showing, I just don't like to put no product in it. Because I hate when my cameras are just got all built up in the front. <laughs> if I don't have to do my edges, I won't. So I'm just contour I just blended out the contour and I like to take my sponge and just, you know, blend it out more. I'm taking my Sasha Buttercup. Um, same powder and I am just setting all the face I said guys what 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 <laughs> bruh so much powder it's not that necessary guys so basically now I'm taking all the colours that I use on my lid to um, do the bottom of my eyes as well I love it I feel like the look is not complete when you don't have eyeshadow at the bottom of your eyes I'm taking my Bobbi Brown gel eyeliner with a real technique liner brush and I am lining my waterline with it. I'm feeling all this, she already noticed. And then I'm taking the black again from the Saharan palette from Juvia's Place and I am putting that down underneath my eyes as well just to blend out that liner and smoke out the look. Just making sure that all the colours are prominent so I'm going back in. I'm taking my sleek contour kit in the medium. Or is that the dark one? I think it's the dark one. And then my MAC Skin Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. And I'm using that to um, blend all my face together and take off that crazy amount of Sasha Buttercup powder that I used. Lord, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm just gonna blend that out, blend that out, blend that out, blend that out. 
as much as we can. And then I'm contouring my nose with the same sleek contour palette. Taking some mascara and just uh, putting some on my lower lash line as well. And just to help my lashes blend in, blend in with the falsies. I'm taking my MAC. Blush, I can't remember the name, the name has gone off it unfortunately guys, but it's a matte blusher, I love it, it's my favourite brush, it blush is my go-to one, and I'm taking it with a blush brush from Real Technique, and this is the Cheeky Bronze Matte Highlighter, sorry guys, there's some products I showed you, and some I didn't, sorry about that, I'm using a big fan brush, and I'm just using that to apply my highlighter. Giving you guys a close look of the eyes. Ah, my chestnut, my go to lip liner, almost done. But I'm using the chestnut lip liner by MAC to line my lips. I love this lip liner, like, this is my go to for everything. Literally, I love it. I like to take the colour into the lip, not just line it but bring it down a bit so it helps when I'm putting on the lipstick for it to mix together and blend together nice and seamlessly. I'm taking my MUA. I think that lipstick was like one pound or two. I love the colour. It's like a peachy, orangey, peachy nude lipstick. It's matte. But I went in with a L'Oreal lip gloss. I can't remember the name, guys. I'm so sorry. It will all be linked in the description box for you guys to see. And I went for a glossy look. I never go for gloss, guys. And I just thought it would be cute. I'm just using my liner again just to line it up as well, just to bring out that line a bit more. Taking my Makeup Revolution setting spray, I think this is the sport one. I missed my face the first time, but literally, guys, I drench myself like going swimming in that. Woo! Yes, my edges are not showing, so you can't even see the pickiness underneath that. <laughs> but guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the look, and I promise to be more consistent with it, guys. And yeah, comment below what you want to see from me. If you want to get to know me a bit more now that I'm older, I think the last video I filmed was about two years ago. But yeah, just let me know your comments down below. Always have a single one, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I want you to be my